Hello, my name is Dr. Anupama Singh and I uh, am a physician in the Department of Internal Medicine at Vimhans Nayati Multi-Specialty Hospital. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about dengue, uh, which is one of the dreaded illnesses of the monsoon season uh, in Delhi and NCR. And uh, we shall be talking about uh, some of the more interesting uh, features about dengue. I mean, everybody knows what is dengue and what are the symptoms and etc. But I'm going to be telling you a little bit more about how you can help to differentiate dengue from other viral illnesses, what are the danger signs that you should look for, um, and so on and so forth. So first things first, dengue is a viral illness which is commonly seen in tropical and subtropical countries. Uh, it's caused by the dengue virus and it's transmitted by the bite of the Aedes mosquito. That's a very interesting question. Now, uh, uh, typically the symptoms of dengue uh, can be can overlap with the symptoms of other viral illnesses, but there are certain uh, um, you know signs and certain symptoms which helps you differentiate it from other viral illnesses. So, what are those signs and symptoms? Now, if you have a high-grade fever which is associated with a severe headache and a very peculiar kind of pain behind the eyes, patients will typically tell you that when they move their eyes in either direction, they have a pain behind the eyes, which is called retrovital pain. Uh, there are severe body aches, uh, including uh, muscle aches as well as joint pains. Uh, they can can have a, um, a flushed appearance or a rash all over the body associated with the fever and typically that's described as a sea of white in as an island of white in a sea of red because there's a flushed appearance but when you put pressure the uh, rash blanches on pressure now other than that um, uh, there, it, it's a saddleback kind of fever so uh, you can have the fever break and then reappear for a day or two. Uh, any of the danger signs of dengue, you know, um, uh, which we say that predates severe dengue. If you see any of those danger signs that should make you suspect dengue over an, another uh, viral illness. And what are those danger signs? If there's severe stomach uh, pain, if there is persistent nausea vomiting, uh, nausea vomiting is a feature of dengue. There is a distaste. Uh, for any kind of solid food or a very bitter taste when you eat solid food. So if there's persistent nausea and vomiting, if there is liver enlargement, uh, if there is mucosal bleeding uh, from any side, uh, if there are petechial uh, rashes, uh, then also if there is any serosal effusions, and by serosal effusions I mean if there is fluid accumulation which either occurs in the lung, which causes breathing difficulty, or occurs in the stomach, which causes your abdomen to feel a little distended, then those are the symptoms which would make you suspect dengue over and above another viral illness. Now, dengue, by and large, is not a very serious ailment if you manage uh, the symptoms well. Uh, so 95% of people will actually, uh, it's a self-limited illness and 95% of the people will just recover uh, in due course. Uh, the, from start to finish, the uh, illness lasts about 10 days. Uh, but in 1-5% to of cases, it can be a very severe illness as well. So it's very important to understand and to recognize the symptoms which predate severe dengue. 1% uh, mortality definitely is there. Like I said, 1-5% to mortality may be present. 1% mortality in people with severe uh, symptoms of dengue. And unfortunately, dengue is much more severe in children and in young adults. Uh, so that's something that we do need to watch out for. Like for any disease, uh, this is true for dengue as well, and prevention is always better than cure. So what I would suggest is take all the precautions that you can in order to just prevent dengue from happening. And what are those precautions? Basically, it's to prevent uh, mosquito bites or to prevent uh, the uh, you know harboring of mosquitoes in and around your surroundings. So keep your surroundings clean. Uh, uh, don't let any water accumulate because the Aedes mosquito actually breeds in clean water. So even if you're clean, everything is clean, but you have 
areas where water is accumulating, then you might have the Aedes mosquito breeding. And if the Aedes mosquito is going to breed, then it's going to bite you and you may be at risk for dengue. So uh, during this, this season, it's best to wear, uh, you know, full sleeve clothing, wear full pants, don't wear shorts. Um, try and avoid going to areas where you know that there is a very large density of mosquitoes. Keep your surroundings clean. If you do have a fever, keep yourself hydrated. Um, uh, make sure you get adequate rest and adequate fluids because there is a distaste for solids. Uh, nevertheless, if you keep yourself hydrated, make sure you get 2.5 to 3 liters of fluids in a day. Rest adequately. Do not take any kind of painkiller killers which will increase your risk of bleeding if you do have the dengue infection just take paracetamol and watch out for any of the signs of severe dengue if you do have persistent uh, vomiting if you cannot keep any fluids down you cannot eat anything if you have a pain in your stomach which is increasing if you suspect or if you see any mucosal bleeding from the nose or from the oral cavity from the anywhere be, be sure to go and see your physician so that you know these uh, symptoms can be investigated and tackled as quickly as possible.